Hello everyone, today in this video we will be solving the uh, 11th lab program which is RS algorithm. So uh, mainly in this algorithm we have to have um, the encryption and the decryption process. So suppose that you are sending a message from one side to the other side, okay. I suppose you are sending hello, okay. Hello is being sent from the uh, sender side and it goes through a path and uh, in the receiver side you receive as hello, okay. But in the uh, path between the sender and the receiver, the hello gets converted to some other uh, unreadable format. Okay, that is called encryption. And in the receiver side, that um, encoded uh, word will be decrypted, and uh, that will be received as hello. Okay. So here, what we'll be doing, we'll be passing a plain text. Like suppose we are passing any number here, that number will be changed to another number, and then it will be changed back to the original number in the receiver side. Okay. So that is the mainly uh, the feature of uh, RSA algorithm. So let's understand how the algorithm works and then we'll be seeing the code um, of this algorithm. Okay. So mainly uh, initially we'll have two uh, prime numbers which will be given. You have to choose two prime numbers. Okay. P and Q. Okay. Small p and small q. And uh, step two is that plain text. Okay. Plain text is the uh, text which we have to send. Okay. That, that is capital P. Okay. Capital P is equal to two. That is the plain text which we are uh, going to send to the uh, receiver side okay and then we have to compute uh, n okay what is n n is equal to small p into small q okay here i am choosing the value of p as uh, 3 and q as 5 okay you can choose any value so when we do um, 3 into 5 you will get 15 okay n is the uh, n's value is 15 okay then we have to compute phi of n what is phi of n phi of n is nothing but p minus 1 into q minus 1 what is p minus 1 P is 3, so P minus 1 will be 2, and Q is um, 5, 5 minus, uh, uh, 5 minus 1 is 4, so 4 into 2, okay, so 5 of N will be 8, okay, so 5 of N is 8, and uh, N is 15, and capital P is 2, okay, now uh, we have to find out the GCD in the um, step 5, okay, GCD of P and 5 of N, okay, what is the GCD of P and 5 of N, firstly P is nothing but we have to find out the uh, we have to choose some numbers uh, starting from 2, then 3, 4, 5, like that. We have to go and uh, we have to compare the um, GCD each time. Okay, like for example, firstly we will start from 2. Okay, uh, 2 and 8. Okay, what is the uh, GCD of 2 and 8? The GCD of 2 and 8 is 2 only, right? Because the greatest common divisor between 2 and 8 is 2, uh, and that is not equal to 1. Uh, then we will increment the value of 2 as 3. Then we will compare 3 and 8. The GCD of 3 and 8 is 1 because uh, 3, and, uh, 3 and 8 don't have any common divisor except 1, right? So uh, the GCD of 3 and 8 is 1. When, uh, whenever you get a GCD value here, that will be selected as the E value, okay? So E is 3, okay? After we get the E value, what we have to do? We have to write this equation E into D is equal to 1 mod phi of n. Now, how to uh, compute this value is uh, substitute what all we know. E value we know, we got here as 3, right here as 3 into d is equal to 1 mod what is phi of n we got we got here phi of n as 2 into 4 which is 8 okay so right here as 8 now what does this statement mean this statement means that we have to find some number here okay in this place you have to find some number which when divided by 8 we will get the re uh, remainder as 1 okay so uh, what can be the number here start the values of d as 1 d into 1 is 3 when you divide 3 by 8, will you get the remainder 1? No, we will get the remainder 3, right? Then uh, uh, make the value of d as 2. 3 to the 6, okay? What is 6 uh, and uh, when you divide 6 by 8, what uh, remainder you get? The remainder is 6, right? That's not equal to 1. So make the value as 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 9 when you divide by 8, you will get the remainder as 1. Therefore, the selected value of this part is 9. If this part selected value is 9, what should be d value? d will be 3. After you get the D value and E value, you have to compute two things, C and uh, P. After you get C, you can easily uh, get the P value. Okay. C is nothing but the um, encrypted text and uh, P is the decrypted text, okay. which is the uh, original text which we send. Okay. So, uh, what we have to do is, C is equal to P raised to E mod N. The capital P is that which you are sending to power, uh, what is E value 3 mod 15. What is 2 power 3 is 8. What is 8 mod 15? 8 mod 15 is when you divide 8 by 15, what remainder you get? 8, right? So C is 8. After you get the C value, do the following. C uh, raised to uh, 3 mod 15. 
What is 8 raised to 3? 512. When you divide by 15, you will get remainder as 2. And 2 is the same number which we are sending initially. Right. So, this is the working of the RS algorithm. Okay. Suppose that uh, this is for the small numbers. Okay. Suppose that we get a number like mod 60. At that time, what we have to do? Okay. Like, uh, this is the equation. 7 into D is equal to 1 mod 60. This is which part of the uh, step which we are uh, going to find out? Step 7. Okay. In step 7, suppose that uh, I got a number here, P and Q, and I computed the value of N, phi and GCD. I got the value of uh, E as 7 and the phi of N as 60. In this case, how we are going to find out D value? For example, if you put D value as 1 here, what is 7 into 1? 7. When you divide 7 by 60, you get the remainder as 7. 7 to the 14, 7 3 is the 21. Like that, you will keep on going until you reach a value greater than 60, which will get when uh, we put the value of D as 9. 7 9 is the 63. What is 63 divided by 60? The remainder we get as 3, right? D is not equal to 1, so whatever value we give above this one, that will also be not equal to 1, right? So, what we have to do is we have to double this value, okay? Whenever you get a value greater than uh, 60, means uh, greater than 5 of n, which is not giving the remainder as 1, then what you have to do is double this one. So, 60 will become 120. Again, check. 7 into um, 10, 7 into 11, like that, uh, you keep on going, you will get uh, D as 18. When you do 7 into 18, that will be more than 120, which is 126. That is the nearest one. The remainder is 6 here, okay? So, uh, the, remainder is still, uh, the remainder is still not 1, so we have to increment more. So, uh, we will do into 2 until we reach 300, means uh, when you do 60 into 5, uh, it's not actually 2, into 2, into 3, into 4, like that we have to go, okay? When we do into 5, we will get 300, okay? What is 7 into 43? When we do um, 7 into D is equal to 1 mod 300 and put the D value as 43. What is 7 into 43? 301. When you divide by uh, 300, you will get the value as uh, 1 as the remainder. So, therefore, the selected value of D is 43. Okay, like that you will select the value for D. And there is an easy formula also, if this feels hard for you, uh, if this feels uh, uh, hard for you, what you can do is, you can do um, D is equal to phi of n into i plus 1 divided by e. Okay, e we know it's 7, phi of n is 60 and 1 is taken from here. i value you keep on incrementing. First put 1, 61 by 7, remainder we didn't get. 60, uh, 60 into 2 plus 1, 16 to 3 plus 1, like that you keep on doing until we reach 16 to 5 plus 1, which is 301 by 7, remainder is 1. So, therefore, the selected value of uh, D will be uh, what is uh, 16 to uh, 5 plus 1, 301. When we divide by 7, we will get uh, the quotient as 43. So, D's value will be 43, okay? Like that, we will get the D's value. And uh, that was for a greater number like uh, 60. And in other case, uh, we might get uh, something like this to calculate 48 raised to 43. Okay, like in this uh, equation only, we got the D value as 43. It's a large number, right? So, we have to calculate this one, right? C power D mod 15. Instead of 15, we have um, 77 here. And what is C's value? C is given as 48 and D is 43. So, 48 raised to 43 mod 77. If you try to do the in the calculator, you will not get the answer, right? Because 48 raised to 43 is a very large number, okay? And that mod 77, it will give some errors, right? So, uh, how to simplify this one? Uh, ultimately, what we are trying to do is, we have to find out the remainder, right? So, what we can do, separate this one, okay? 43 can be written as 2, 4, 8, 16, 8, and uh, 4, and 1, right? How I got this one? See, if you start from 2, 2, then uh, right here 4, 2 plus 4, um, 6, 6 plus 8, plus 16 it's 30, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, then 43. This is 48 power 1. So, 48 power 43 can be written as 48 uh, power 2 into 48 power 4 and so on till 48 power 1. Okay. Like that you have to write this number. What is our next? Our next step is to find out which is the least power. The least power is 48 uh, power 1. When you do 48 power 1 mod 77, what answer you get? That is 48 only. Right here 48. Then the next one is 48 square. Find out 48 square in calculator. Do mod 77. Write down the remainder. That is 71. Then uh, you, we have to do for 48 power 4. How can we do that? For doing 48 power 4, uh, that can be written as 48 square. See here, 48 power 4 can be written as 48 square the whole square. Right. 
48 power 4 can be written as 48 square the whole square. For 48 square what we got as the remainder? 71. 71 square do that and find out the mod 77 36 you will get. Okay. Like that uh, keep, uh, keep on simplifying. Instead of doing 48 power 8 what you can do? 48 power 4 we got the remainder as 71. Do 71 square and uh, sorry not 71 36. Okay. The remainder we got for 48 power 4 is 36. So instead of uh, 48 power 4 we will write it as uh, 36 then do the square then uh, do mod 77. 36 square mod 77 is uh, 64. So like that we will keep on do, uh, doing for all the terms here and then uh, we will be substituting the remainders which you get here in the place of each of these terms. For example for 48 uh, what we got the remainder 48. So I am writing here 48. For 48 square what we got? We got 71 so I wrote here 71. Next is 48 power 4. What is 48 power 4 uh, remainder we got finally? 36. So I wrote here 36. Then I got 64. Then for 48 power 16 I will get as 15. Then uh, this is uh, as uh, 64 uh, which we have uh, calculated earlier also. And 48 power 4 is 36 and 48 I have already written here. Okay. So when we do mod 77 that is uh, very easy to calculate. We will get the remainder as um, means whatever the number we get we will get it easily. Right. So this is the um, way you find out the uh, mod value with uh, greater value in the uh, LHS part and this is for how you will do the mod 60 and all if you don't get what is the formula and this is the uh, general working of the algorithm. Okay. So if you understood this algorithm the code part is very easy. Okay. So let me um, take you through the code part. This is the code here. Uh, firstly this is the uh, public uh, void main function and except main we have the uh, big integer GCD calculator. What is GCD calculator? It just calculates the GCD of the two numbers here. Okay. So uh, if you pass in the GCD calculator two numbers, that will return the GCD of two numbers. Okay. What is uh, big integer? It uh, can store the uh, larger values of integer. Okay. Consider this as uh, the same as uh, simple integer. That will also work fine. And uh, the, this is the main function of this um, code here. Now let's start from the main function. In the main function, we will initialize the variables which we need. So for now, you can ignore this one. And after we um, go through the code, whenever we require some variable, we will initialize it. Okay. And all are initialized as big integer. Okay. Means it can store our larger value. Okay. And let's start from here. This is the scanner object. And firstly, we will take the value of p. p is equal to scanner dot uh, next big uh, integer. Instead of next int, we will uh, write as next big integer. Okay. And that will be stored in P. And what we will do is we will check if it is a prime number or not. If it is not a prime number, ask again. Like that, we will keep on doing until we get, uh, get a prime number for P. That is our first step, right? Get the uh, prime number for P as well as Q. That is the same thing we are doing here. Getting the prime number for P and then um, outputting like uh, into the prime value for Q. We are getting the prime value for Q as well. And then after we get the prime values of P and Q, what is our next? See, the next step is what is the text you want to send that you have to take from the user, right? The text which you want to send is will be taken from the user, storing it in plain. Okay, that is our step uh, step two. Okay, our step three is calculate n is equal to p into q. So that's uh, what we are doing here. N is equal to p dot multiply q. Okay, these are the functions which we have to write instead of p star q. What we'll write is p dot multiply q. Why? Because we are uh, storing p and q as big integer. Okay, so we have to use this function to multiply. Okay, so n will have p into q. Oh, uh, what's our next step? Our next step is we have to calculate phi of n. What is phi of n? Phi of n is p minus 1 into q minus 1. So that's what we are doing here. Uh, p dot subtract big integer 1 means uh, p minus 1 into multiply q minus 1. Okay, q minus 1 multiplied with p minus 1. That is stored in phi. Okay. So then we are just printing out what is the value of n we got here as uh, p into q and what is the value of phi we got. That will be printed in the screen. Okay. Then what we are doing is starting from 2. Okay. What is our next step here? After we get the value of um, phi of n, we have to find out the GCD. Right. It will be starting from 2, 2, comma 5 and means 8, uh, 8 in this case. Then if it is not true, increment i value and check the GCD. Like that we will keep on doing until we get the GCD value as 1. What we will do here? We will calculate the GCD value by calling this function. Okay. Where is this function? We have written here. 
this will just return the gcd of two numbers phi and the other number okay so we are getting in temp the value of the gcd of two numbers if it's equal to one instead of writing temp equal equal to one what we have to write is temp dot compared to big integer dot one is equal to zero means if temp and big integer is um, one then it will return as zero okay if this is true the whole condition is true then we have to execute this line of code else we will increment i value and check for the next one means we are incrementing the i value so if it's not possible for 2 and 8 we will check for 3 and 8 if it's not possible in case it, uh, if it was not possible then we will check for 4 and 8 and so on wherever we get we will return ok suppose that we got here like in uh, our case we will get as 3 so what we will do is e dot big integer value of i ok so we will uh, return the value of e as uh, whatever we got the value of i so i is getting converted into big integer and storing in e ok and we will break out of the loop so e is the uh, value which we will get like in this case we got as 3 so we will be printing out that's the public key ok two keys we need public and private key the public key is the e value and what is the private key the d value ok so we will be moving on with this code here after you get the e value what we have to do we will print out the uh, e value and then we will take as uh, i as 1 then you have to calculate the uh, d value how you calculate d value d is nothing but uh, 1 mod phi of n divided by e divided by e can be written as inverse ok so that's why you have written e dot mod inverse phi ok that's the same thing here uh, mod phi is here and 1 is uh, we can ignore 1 because 1 into something is the same thing and uh, e we are taking the denominator so the, uh, therefore it will be d is equal to e dot mod inverse phi of n ok you have to write in this way because it's uh, we are using big integers so this is the um, syntax of writing those uh, to calculate the values okay. then we will get the d value here and then we will output the uh, d value then what is our next step our next step is calculate p power e mod n right that's the same thing we are doing here um, plane plane is the value which we had stored as p the plane text mod e power n ok means p power e mod n ok what does this do p dot mod power e so uh, plane uh, power e will be calculated then mod with n same thing we will do for receiver also p power d mod n that is the same thing here in the uh, step 9 c power d mod n that will be stored in c and p respectively so c is the uh, ciphertext and um, p is the receiver plane ok so what is this one this is the final text which we received ok that will be compared with the plane text which we already sent ok so after we get the received and the uh, ciphertext we will be printing out this is the um, the uh, encrypted text and this is the text which we received ok then after getting the output you can see the text is same if we did the algorithm in the proper manner ok means in the with the correct syntax and order ok so this all in this uh, program and thank you for watching i will see you in the next